guys, so there's a Christmas tree behind me, tramps behind me. If you watch my videos before, pretty sure you know what that means. Christmas video! So, for those of you who don't watch my videos and probably have absolutely no idea what's going on, my best friend and I always film ourselves wrapping and or opening um, the gifts that we give each other at Christmas time, which we mail because we live in different states. Ultimate sadness. We met back in the day of season two Glee when Kurt and Blaine had just met and become BFFs for life. We found out both our names were Jesse. And since we both dislike our name, we decided to stick with calling each other Kurt and Blaine, plus it's far less confusing than being like Jesse, and then two people being like, what? Because, yeah. So, we call each other Kurt and Blaine. Now you get it. So I'm going to show you what I bought for Kurt, and then I'll be back later to also unwrap the gifts that Kurt sent to me. So right now I'm going to show you some awesome gifts that I bought. Because, yeah. So I'm mailing your present in a Disney box that I got when I ordered some things from the Disney website because it's pretty. Ha ha ha, I am so awesome. Disney. Okay, so I try to get Kurt something that says Let It Snow every year because Kurt and Blaine sang Let It Snow and it's a good song and Christmas and why not. And I actually bought her this really cute gift bag last year that said Let It Snow. Guess what I forgot to put the gifts in before I mailed them last year? Let it snow gift bag. Then I had this really good idea and I was like, well, how about I just put the gift bag with my Christmas decorations when I put them away, then next year I'll go to decorate by opening the box and be like, hey, it's that gift bag I forgot last year. I'm gonna go ahead and mail it with their stuff this year. That's what I said I was gonna do. Apparently that's not what I did, because guess what's not with my decorations? Gift bag. Lord knows where that is. But I did find this super cute gift bag this year, which has Woodstock and Snoopy making a snowman. Pretty precious. And guess what it says? Let it snow! So, you'll get this this year instead. Unless I forget to mail it with your presents like I did last year, in which case... Hope you're enjoying it on the internet from afar, because I was probably stupid and forgot to include it. Ah, <sighs> okay, moving on. Another thing I always try to do, or I try, keyword try, is to get a Hoops and Yo-Yo card. Guess what I found? Hoops and Yo-Yo, what? On a card, Christmas, holiday, spirit. Woo, because not only is Kurt the Kurt to my Blaine, she's also the Hoops to my Yo-Yo. So card. If you're like, Jesse, what does the card say? It says, there's no way we'll miss Santa this year. Success in life! I found it! So also, since Kurt and I live far away from one another, um, and we usually have to travel to go on adventures together, one of which was an adventure to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure so that we could go to Harry Potter World for her birthday, another adventure was to go to Disney for my birthday, so I thought, hmm, first year of Christmas gift exchanging, I got Kurt a penguin pillow pet. Why? Because penguins are awesome, Kurt loves penguins, and pillow pets are super soft and cuddly. So this year, since we travel to see each other so often, I thought the perfect gift would be this! Cause it's a luggage tag, but it's also a penguin. See, I, it's like a theme that I go with, with penguins and luggage, and I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry, I'll put it down. But yay, I thought it was really cute. So now when you travel, and you're like, Jesse, we're going on a Disney and or Harry Potter World adventure, or whatever other adventures we go on in the future, and you're like, I gotta put my bag on the plane, and then you're like, I don't know which bag is mine. Oh wait, I do, because mine's one with a super awesome penguin on it. Yeah, I don't know why I just got really ghetto there. I'm gonna stop now. Another super awesome gift that I found that I thought was really cute 
was this little decoration that you can put out at Christmas time and uh, it says friends because we're friends friendship so I got you this little decoration because it's super cute and it says friends and it's got stars and sparkles and snowflakes and stripes and polka dots and all kinds of magical wonder all over it as well as these two little snowmen that could represent us which is awesome because they're really cool snowmen because look they're doing like jazz hands and jazz hands are really difficult to do when you got sticks for arms so these dudes are super cool so yeah so I thought you would enjoy that little decoration you could put it out at Christmas time or leave it out all the time or like all of winter at least you know because it's kind of got a winter theme going on so yeah magic so remember again first Christmas that we ever exchanged gifts Kurt got me cookies and I was like I want to give Kurt cookies then I remembered my oven's broken so then I was like, I want to buy Kurt cookies. And then I remembered that Kurt gave me a stocking cookie that said Blaine on it. So then what did I find in the store? Jar of cookies, but not just any jar of cookies, a jar of cookies that have stockings on them. Ah, themes. I'm so good at paying attention to detail with the stockings and the cookies. Like the first year when you sent me a stocking shaped cookie. I'm so clever. Anyways, not not as exciting as I make it out to be. Along with penguins, because penguins are awesome, another awesome bird-like creature is the owl. You know why? Because they were in Harry Potter and they're also majestic looking. So I got you this change purse which has owls on it. See? Owls. And it says friends, cause, see, friends. Cause we're friends and owls are cool, like penguins. And it's really cute. And I just, I saw it and I liked it. And I was like, I'm buying that for Kurt, because it's super adorable and has owls on it. I have like a bird theme going on this year. Those owls could be from Harry Potter. You know what is from Harry Potter? Other than my Hogwarts hoodie? Speaking of Hogwarts, Hogwarts is from Harry Potter. Yeah. You know what I bought you? I bought you Hogwarts. Yes, I did. And you're probably like, what? How could you buy me Hogwarts? Well, that's how I could buy you Hogwarts. See? It's like the owls are like flying over Hogwarts because I bought you owls and then I also bought you Hogwarts But it's an ornament like a Christmas ornament that like you can put on a tree or hang on a Doorknob or I don't know whatever you want to do with it because it's cool But you're probably like wow How can this possibly get any better than it already is because this is already pretty fabulous Well, I'll tell you right now how it can get any better. Batteries would probably help. It plays the... There's a button, and then you put a battery in it, and it plays the You've heard the song. So yeah, when you push the button, and it actually has batteries in it, it plays the song! Yay! So I'm gonna put this away now before I break it. Can I found not in the thing. Can't imagine why it's not playing the song. Um, I'm not intelligent. Oh my gosh, we could get like a ton of ornaments and then when we live together, we can just like have all Harry Potter ornaments and have a Harry Potter tree. And then we could get a bunch of Disney ornaments, have a Disney tree, and then we could just have like a regular tree that's just regular ornaments that's not like any specific theme, just like Christmas, like most normal people do. And it will be awesome. And we could decorate it while playing Harry Potter scene that you bought me for the first Christmas. Oh my god, it all ties in. Ugh. Anyways, I'm overly excited. And now I'm gonna cut to something else exciting. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, Hana Kwanzaa. Let's get the video going. Yay, go, click, dead. Yeah, you don't click anything. I'm gonna edit it. You just sit there and enjoy. Bye. Hello, and Merry Christmas slash Happy Holidays. It was like 80 degrees yesterday, so I'm trying to diffuse some of that with some of my fake, obviously very realistic looking snow. But the first thing I got is something that I actually found in the stores. And it is a Hoops and Yo-Yo Christmas ornament that has a button on it where they talk and they say a lot of funny stuff. And it was the last one in the store, so I'm really proud of that. And of course, to go with it, I got a Hoops and Yo-Yo card. And uh, the substitute gift was supposed to be a hat like this one that you got me, except a different animal. And it still has yet to come. So, I ran to the store today, Christmas Eve Eve. We got a couple of these. These two, I call them Kurt and Blaine because I can. And they both have little little treats on them. And they're both wearing hats to signify 
But that was a, that was what I was supposed to get you, the hat. So 